how to request a loan from the insurance company. My name is Carmen. And I'm Darius. And we are the founders of Wealth Nation. We teach entrepreneurs and high achievers how to own their own lifestyle. So be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit that notifications bell so that you're notified when we upload new videos. And make sure you check out our Patreon page because we go into detail about how we design infinite banking policies for your particular lifestyle. Oh yeah, good stuff mm -hmm. over there. So getting right into the content for today, a lot of times we get a little confused when it comes to how in the world do I get a loan from the insurance company? Yeah, it can Is be it, a little intimidating maybe. Right, because when you think about getting a loan, you think about all the paperwork and all the questions that you had to answer <laughs> and all the family history that you had to go through with the banker in order to get a loan from them. <laughs> and you're like, okay, I'm getting a loan from the insurance company and I'm not familiar with that at all. Yeah, it's gonna be more of the same painful <laughs> process and it's actually not. So we want to put you at ease because yes. between Darius and myself, we have at least 15 loans with the insurance company. We have a lot. We are every time we pay our premium, we're requesting another loan because we keep our banking systems moving. We keep them smoking. Right. So the the point of us sharing this information with you today is just to calm you down and let you know that it is super easy to get a loan from the insurance company. And in order to do so, you can do one of two things. You can call the insurance company directly and mm -hmm. request a loan and they will send you some paperwork. It's a PDF that they would send you via email and it's lit it's depending on the insurance company it's either one page two or three that I've seen max right. <laughs> maximum and uh, it's very simple information the the first few pages is basically you confirming yourself mm -hmm. confirming your banking location and then maybe avoid a check that they would need so whenever whenever you set up your first loan they typically require avoided check just so that they can verify your bank information and mm -hmm. then after that moving forward it's simple because they already have that information on hand now, I remember when we bought our car, it was a oh, man. orange, rusty, we called it rusty, it was an <laughs> orange charger that I've wanted since I was in high school, and we were able to get that. And I remember sitting inside that car dealership all day. Literally. When we literally just walked in there like, this is the one I wanted. Mm -hmm. But we have to go through all this paperwork and we have to check your credit, we have to check your history, we have to go to different banks and make sure everything's all good. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do any of that stuff when it comes to getting a loan from your policy. Mm -mm. No. None of it. No, not at all. And I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> to let you down actually it's super exciting because it's so simple it takes maybe five minutes to fill out the paperwork if that mm -hmm. and then you scan it fax it back in however you choose and then within five to seven business days the money is either direct deposited in your account or they mail a check to you whichever one that you choose oh uh, and I'm going back to our house <laughs> 35 pages of signatures. Months of processing. Months of processing. We can't, oh, we can't get anything with our credit card because it'll create some type of red flag. It'll which change will, our credit score. Yes. And affect the whole process. Yes. And we have to put everything on lockdown for three months. Can't do anything because you don't want to change your credit score in the middle of trying to purchase a house. And that is another thing that you do not have to even think about when getting a loan from the insurance company. No, you keep on swiping yes. <laughs> without any issues. And again, we just want to reiterate all this information because we know when we first got started, this was something that we were a little nervous about, like, oh my gosh, I have, I'm requesting a loan because we were bringing in the, the old baggage <laughs> of us requesting loans from yeah. uh, the banks, for example. Um, and so we just couldn't believe that it was, you know, a few documents, there was really really no questions asked and we scanned everything in and the money showed up we were like wait a second I think they made a mistake <laughs> <laughs> so it's amazing once you're able to control your finances control your opportunity because working with the insurance companies is super simple yeah I remember talking to an executive at one of the insurance companies we work with and they say only two percent of the people that they actually work with that actually request loans from their policies. Think about that. And he was talking about a generalization. So right. only 2% of the population of people who have policies, insurance policies, actually request loans. Hmm. 2%. Think about that. So two things I got from the conversation is one, take advantage of getting loans from your insurance policies and two, do it because he's doing it and he's the executive. <laughs> 
<laughs> Simple as that. We always like to uh, rule with that. Whoever has the money, we follow exactly what they do. There you go. Mm -hmm. So we hope that this information was helpful and put you a little bit at ease as far as how you can go about requesting your first loan. Again, you can call them uh, on the phone and then they'll send you all the pap paperwork that you need mm -hmm. or depending on the agency that you're working with, like with us, we do all of it on your behalf. Mm -hmm. So you just let us know, hey, I want to request a loan, whatever the amount is, and we send all the information to the insurance company for you. Yes, and one thing that I would like to add is be, be very specific. Say you're getting a loan, yes. not a withdrawal. Oh my gosh. You're yeah. getting a loan. Yes, yeah, because we know of people who have called and requested withdrawals and not loans. And again, the difference is, just to make sure we're on the same page, when you get a withdrawal, you're actually taking the money out of your policy. Mm -hmm. And when you do that, it's now a taxable event because that money is considered income. And when you take the money out of your policy, that affects the growth of the cash value because you now you just depleted funds. So when you request a loan, the insurance company is giving you their money mm -hmm. and keeping your money in the policy and just using it as collateral. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I hope this video has added value to you and your understanding of using cash value life insurance. And thank you so much for your time. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the notification bell and check out our Patreon page. And remember, own your own lifestyle. Or someone else will.